Some students in Olathe will be pulling an all-nighter tonight, but they're not doing this to pass a class. KCTV 5 Stephanie Kayser explains their motive behind Relay for Life. This year, a record number of students here in Olathe will be staying up all night and walking around this track behind me at 159th and Lone Elm to raise money for the American Cancer Society. This is the first year we have almost all five high schools that have participants coming in. That means more students are walking and they are hoping to raise more money, around $20,000 this year in the fight against cancer. It's the first time the event is outside, which may be a little cold, but they will have food and activities to keep everyone warm. The Olathe Youth Relay for Life kicks off tonight at 7 and goes all night until 7 a.m. It all starts with a survivor ceremony. My brother is a survivor and then my neighbor, so a lot of family friends. So yeah, everyone's related to the school. Co-chairs of the event, Marissa Lux and Melanie Haro, have both been affected by cancer in their families. I had an aunt this this earlier this year. She passed away and she left three triplets and like that's been a huge part about my family just recently. But I've also had success stories where my great aunt survived can breast cancers. Tonight there will be success stories, but also memories of the people these students want to honor and they are hoping for a big turnout. Anyone from the community who wants to get involved can. The track here at the Olathe District Stadium will be open to the public from 7 to 10 tonight. In Olathe, Stephanie Kayser, KCTV 5 News.